Section 4 Debugging your .NET Core application In this section, we will be exploring how to debug your ASP.NET Core Docker containers, looking at the main way this is done with Docker logging. We will see how simple it is to log with ASP.NET Core, enhancing these logs, viewing container logs, and viewing these same logs with cloud providers. We will look at how you can interact with your container by opening a shell inside it and using interactive mode, something you will need to do at some point to look at your container's contents. Lastly, we will be taking a brief look at debugging Docker containers with Visual Studio, seeing how it utilizes Docker Compose and stepping through our source with breakpoints. Video 4.1 Getting ready to log in this video, we will be seeing how you can log with ASP.NET Core, looking at injecting logs into your controllers, logging with these loggers, and pretty printing the output with Serilog, a third-party logging library. We will also see where ASP.NET Core applications can log to, and where its Docker logs end up. Prior to .NET Core, the logging ecosystem in .NET comprised of a number of logging libraries, which all had their own interface contracts you adhere to. This included Logfinet, Nlog, Microsoft Enterprise Lib, and the built-in .NET trace listeners. The arrival of .NET Core has brought with it a unified way of logging that allows all these libraries to come together under one logging interface, known as iLogger. iLogger T is found in the Microsoft.Extensions.Logging library, and has thankfully been designed from the ground up to be dependency injection friendly working with Microsoft.Extensions.DependencyInjection library out of the box with just one call. In Docker, we move away from the Windows-centric view of the world, and with this we depart from the limited ecosystem of Windows logging, often centered around the Windows event log or ugly XML files. Docker offers a number of logging options for your containers, doing this by logging all your console log calls to the container's standard output and standard error. The logs are forwarded, or exposed, to the host's Docker engine by default. As we'll see in video 4.2, you can then access these logs and read them using other services, where you can enjoy a whole ecosystem of logging tools, such as the now de facto Kibana. To enable logging in your ASP.NET Core application, you need to follow a number of very basic steps. Install Microsoft.Extensions.Logging from NuGet. Inside the startup.cs file, enable logging. In your controller, add an iLogger T to your constructor, where T is your controller type. For developing ASP.NET Core applications, the default console output is quite verbose and sometimes hard to read. We could embark on styling the logs ourselves in the console, but fortunately a library already exists for us, called Serilog. Enabling Serilog is straightforward. Install the Serilog package from NuGet. Install the Serilog extension package. Inside program.cs, Enable Serilog, as the example shows. Add a few test logs to see it's working. Now start up Castrol to see it in action. One thing worth noting is you should not enable Serilog Pretty Console outside of the development environment, as the colours add a lot of unreadable Unicode characters to the output. ASP.NET Core applications using Microsoft.Extensions.Logging typically always log to standard out and standard error, concepts you'll recognize if you have written console applications before. This, as we will see next, is to enable Docker to read the logs. It is unusual and in fact counterproductive to log to anywhere except standard out and standard error, as your logs get intercepted at a higher level than your ASP.NET Core application at least in a Docker environment. Your logs go straight to the output window in development mode. But what happens when you create your Docker image and run that? Where do the logs for your container end up? Docker intercepts all standard out and standard error from your running container and redirects this to the logging driver you have configured for your container. 
The default Docker logging driver is JSON file, which writes your logs in JSON format. This driver logs everything to a file on the Docker host in the subdirectory of var lib docker containers. We will look at this in more detail in the next video. In this video, we have seen some best practices for logging with ASP.NET Core when using Docker and how we can achieve this via Microsoft.extensions.logging. We saw where we log to when we log with Docker, and this will pave the way for topics covering. We saw where to log to when we log with Docker, and this will pave the way for topics covered in forthcoming videos.